TV Book Club with Specsavers. Jack is five and room is his story. As far as he knows, uh, his world is composed of an 11 foot by 11 foot space covered in cork tiles with just one skylight and he and his 26 year old mother Ma are the only people in it. What Jack doesn't realise, but the reader quickly does, is that Ma and Jack are in fact prisoners. Jack has been born into this strange captivity. Jack goes to bed in the wardrobe every night so that he won't directly encounter their visitor, Old Nick, who is, of course, their captor. The door has a security code, so it's never as simple as, oh, they could just attack Old Nick and flee. And in fact, really, she's held hostage because she's so afraid for Jack. But of course, as Jack's getting older, he starts to need the outside world more. So Ma is trying to find that moment where it's worth jeopardizing their status quo and actually trying to escape. But for me, it's, it's really not a crime story, it's not a tragedy. You know, the, the sad circumstances of the story are just a way of bringing out the, the absolute everyday humanity of the mother-child bond. So, a genuinely original, ambitious, imaginative, imaginative novel. Does it work? That's the question. Jerry? It worked for me. It was incredibly gripping. And I think that the, the main thing for me was the fact that it's spoken and seen and experienced through the eyes and ears and sensibilities of a five-year-old boy mm -hmm. in the present tense is so gripping. You can't, you can't not have him take you by the hand and say, yeah. come on, stay with me, stay with me. And it's well worth it. It's an extraordinary piece of work. I think it's an amazing portrait of a woman. Yes. Because, you know, and, and to me, it's kind of demonstrated that that's one... Um, aspect of women that I absolutely love, you know, which is their ability to keep going through all that. Not only is she kind of keeping this old Nick happy, but she's created this fairy tale world yes. to protect her mm. son. Mm. Um, and in a way, where does that leave her? Well, that leaves her how she is when she comes out, which when is very, very emotionally damaged by it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a study, really, yeah. of how, how the human mind constructs its own reality, in a way, and how yes. the boy, as we said, you know, when, when she says, we've got to get out, not just because she wants him to experience the outside world, but also because what happens if something happens to old Nick? Yeah. They'd never get out, anyway. They'd, so, they'd die, they'd starve to death. Exactly. Yeah. So, so, so the, but then the young boy's question is, well, why would I want to escape here? Because this, I'm happy here. Mm -hmm. This is my world. I've got my mother, I've got my games, I've got my books, I've got my yeah. TV. That he thinks courage. he's out of space. That's sort courage of a whole of metaphor child. for childhood itself, isn't exactly, it? Yeah. As a parent, mm. you want to just do that to your children yes. all the time. But Absolutely. at some point, the world mm. has to intrude. Mm. TV Book Club with Specsavers.